Okay, welcome back to another episode of uh, Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today, we're going to make some uh, those uh, two-part dough bagels or whatever you call them. There's uh, people, a lot of people in Weight Watchers using them. Uh, there's another big guy on uh, YouTube that died a couple years ago. He made, this is when it first came out, he made two big pizzas out of it. And we've, I've made a bunch of pizza out of this stuff. So it comes out good, so... Uh, uh, when I made my cauliflower ones, I think uh, Penny's uh, friend Joe, uh, she got excited because she likes these, I guess. So I'm going to do a little twist on mine today, uh, but we'll get to it. We're going to get, we're going to do it right now, but I'm not going to tell you exactly what the twist is till we get there. So uh, I know you're going to like this, so just give me a like right now. That way you don't forget. <laughs> you know, funny thing is, uh, here I got my KitchenAid. I, every time I make this dough, I go up and do it by hand. Today I said, hey, I got that, I'm going to use it. So anyway, we're using uh, Pillsbury's Best uh, Self-Rising Flour. We got uh, three cups of that, that's that, and that. And we're going to do two cups of the yogurt. Now we're going to try this because, you know, everybody's saying, oh, just one-to-one. -one. But every time I've done the one-to-one -one method, it comes out too wet. So this was the pizza dough one that I usually do is this here. Then we're going to sprinkle them with the... Uh, Everything bagel, huh? That stuff's good on a lot of stuff. And then, but for the for the twist, I'm mixing this in because you know bagels are kind of plain anyway. So we're gonna mix some uh, onion soup and dip in there. And that's another point, uh, I guess, per serving, whatever. Okay. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. So into my uh, KitchenAid mixing bowl, putting the flour. And that's three cups of the flour. See how this turns out. I might have to add some more yogurt. I don't know yet, but I'm sticking to what we've done before in the past. Uh, I'm going to put in my packet of onion soups mix here. Like I said, there's one point. For those of you who are watching your points. And that smells good already. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to add the main ingredient. I don't think it's a main, really, but. Now, some people make these bagels in there, all kinds of little things. Oh, we'll put it on the broiler for two minutes and, you know, because they want to crisp them up. I'm just going to try mine at 375, I guess. A lot of people do it at 350. Okay. Let me uh, zoom back a little bit here. Lock that into place. And we're off to the races, huh? And uh, I just make sure you're locked if you have one of these, and then turn it on. Just leave it on low for a while. And the object here is you're trying to get this thing to, you want to have a little dough ball when you're done. So just let it mix and mix, and eventually I'll be taking a spatula to it, and making sure there's nothing on the sides. But as you can see, it's already starting to form in there, so. I love this KitchenAid. I wish I would, well, I, we had gotten one years ago, and we used it someplace else, and Somehow, inadvertently, when the other place got sold, it got sold, whatever, I don't know, it all went. But it's good. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to turn this off here for a minute. We're going to lift this out. I'm going to try to scrape down the sides just a tad bit because it's coming together nice. I just want to get this stuff off the side make sure it gets mixed in. Oops, sorry, bumped the camera. Okay, 
like I said, I've been watching a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but a handful of these. Uh, everybody's got a little bit different recipe, but for the most part, um, I'm trying to make more than two of them also. Uh, everybody was on there that I've seen of the past day or so. Oh, this will make you two. Who wants to make all to all this energy for two bagels? <laughs> I say if you're going to do it, get, it, get you a nice chunk of them, like 8 to 10, 12 maybe. I'm hoping I can get at least eight out of this one. Maybe I'll get six. I don't know. Now, if it gets too dry, you know, if, like you think it's dry or, you know, it's not forming up, I mean, I could put more yogurt in here. I might have to get the professor. Uh, but you can also add a little bit of water if you like, because it is forming, but it's not, not getting everything off the bottom yet either. So, but it's getting there. There you go. Now she's cooking. Like I said, the object of this is you want to get a little ball off it, out of it, so I'm going to add a little bit of water, I think. Just added maybe a tablespoon of water. I'm not going crazy with it, but okay. As you can see, it's pretty much consistent what it's staying at here. So, all right, uh, give me a second. Okay, as you see, I got it onto the the uh, baking mat here with some flour. I'm just going to knead it a little bit because I'm going to try to get it into a certain size shape here, probably like a log roll. I'm going to try to cut it in sections. I'm going to cut it out. Yeah, we just needing to do this, ain't we? Uh-huh. But this dough always comes out good for the pizza. It fits right in our huge uh, skillet that we use, cast iron skillet. Okay. Getting a little tacky there, huh? Something for your tacky little booty. <laughs> All right. So we're done doing this. I might just weigh this puppy just to see how big it is, huh? Okay, we're not going to play with that no more. Okay, I got a little carried away. I weighed it out. It was, uh, uh, two and a half pounds, basically, maybe a 2.51, maybe 2.52, uh, just depends. So anyway, then I cut them up and I got eight, eight little bagel pieces. Well, and then I'm just rolling them out here. I mean, you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just rolling it. So we're going to roll it like a log. And then we're just 
just going to shape it into the shape of a bagel and put it on my tray. And while, while I was still doing that, right after I got done weighing, um, I got an egg and I'm scrambled up in there. We're going to put an egg wash on top of these bad boys. And then we're going to sprinkle that little Sprinkle a little bit of the, uh, the seasoning on there. The, uh, everything bagel seasoning. I couldn't think of for the moment. Okay, So you see how that come out? Just like that. And we just place it on the rack. I'm going to show you the rack from, I'll give you a shot up, uh, up high. I made some, these are decent size. They're four ounces a piece, so. Hopefully they turn out good. Oh, I know they're going to turn out good. I just, uh, you know, there's those people on the, the, I was watching some of them, they do all this for two bagels. I'm like, whoa, that don't make no sense. Because, you know, you, you can cook these and then uh, slice them if you wanted to and then put them in a Ziploc bag and pop them in the freezer and then take them out when you want them, you know. If you just want a half of one, then you got half of one. If you want to make a sandwich, you got two two halves, pop them in a toaster. I don't know. Just I figure you're gonna go, might as well go big or stay home. You know what I mean? So I think that's good enough, huh? Stretch it a little bit. Mend a little bit here around the edge. Make a nice a circle, huh? And pick it up and see what you got there, right? You got a nice, nice shaped bagel looking thing. My oven beat while we were gone. While well, you guys was gone, I should say. I'm trying not to touch anybody here. Okay, so now, let me move this out of the way. And I'll bring the, Another clean-up day for Mr. Dan, huh? Not too bad, though, really. I don't complain about it. I like doing it. You know, if you're going to play, you got to pay the pipe, right? Let me get this out of the way real quick. Get me my little brush, my silicone spread brush. Let me use this little one. And uh, let me give a little bit more of a whisk here. Okay, so you can get a better view of that. Let me see if I can get it back a little more here. So you see, we got eight. So that turned out pretty good. That's what I wanted. I remember I said in the beginning, I'm hoping to get at least eight. I said six would have worked, but eight, eight's what I wanted. So, okay. So now we're just going to give us a nice little egg wash. And uh, if you guys don't have any, if you don't have no, uh, this, uh, Silpat, or you can get a knockoff. That's what these are. These are knockoffs. The Silpat was a little bit more expensive on Amazon, but I got, like, uh, three or four of these uh, for the same price or a little cheaper than I would have got for one of the Silpats, you know. So, anyway, this will help brown these up a little bit, give them a nice, t nice look when they're done. The egg glaze, the egg wash, and we're still not done yet. Now remember, I put um, the onion soup mix in there to give it a little flavor. And the reason I did that, because I did that with my, when I was making my cauliflower bread. And it worked out really well uh, with the flavoring, so I wanted to try it and put it in here. So this is a definite first for me with that on, on my bagels. So basically, you're looking at, uh, I guess, four points. I don't know how many points per bagel. I have to figure it out. But, you know, as it says, a, a quarter of a, is it a quarter of a cup or something of the uh, flour is a serving. It's like 73 servings in that bag. So anyway, we're just going to, I'm going to try some other stuff with this too. Now that I got this uh 
the dough bug, I guess you'd call it, because you can make a bunch of different things with these. We can make some nice little twists, uh, garlic knots, you know, make, make some stuff where it's not many points maybe for you point guys. Uh, I just like them, so. Well, I like the ones I made out of the cauliflower. This, this dough recipe here, I've had this a few different times, like I said, making pizzas and that. So, uh, that being said, this can't be bad. And it can't be bad either if you're going to make it a... We can put some pizza sauce, make little pizza nuggets, huh? All right. Now we have one more step to do. Well, actually, two, but one step here and the rest of it's in the oven. <laughs> All right, so that part's done. Now we're going to, this is the part, this is for you, Joe. Joe K, huh? No, sorry. We're going to sprinkle some of these down. This is the everything seasoning for the bagel, everything bagel, whatever. This is a it's good. You can put this on anything. Sprinkle on your spaghetti. Sprinkle on your cornflakes. It's, it's, it's got a good taste. That's all. Uh, Penny's been liking it. So, and after this bottle's gone, I'll make my own. I got a recipe for it. So, so you why buy it if you got the other? You got just about. I got to get some poppy seeds. I think the black ones. But I got the sesame. I got the onion flakes. Got the garlic. So, and it all smells so good right now. Huh? It ain't even done yet. Okay, so then what I like to do is take a spoon and uh, just so these things don't run away with themselves, take a little spoon and just gently pat them so that the, the seeds stick to, into the dough, you know. Just gently pat them in there. I don't want to hit them too hard. I think I'm going to put a little bit more of that uh, everything bagel up there on this corner over here. A little light. You know, they always say the first one don't get done right. <laughs> well, that's the first one I rolled, so it looked a little different. So anyway, we're just, uh, just having a little fun. It's good for a nice lazy Sunday afternoon. And uh, yeah, we're going to put a little bit more here. And then in the oven she goes. Now they all look pretty balanced, huh? Well, when you go in the oven, you're going to have, if your windows are open, your neighbors are going to come knock at your door. What are you doing, man? <laughs> huh? Yeah. All right. Okay, my friends, I'm going to give you an overview before we go in the oven, just to show you how beautiful and gorgeous these look. Look at that, huh? Whoa. We're going in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay, my little friends, here we have it. Ten beautiful, beautiful looking bagels. I'm, I can't wait to dig into one. Okay, I can't count. There's only eight. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, there's camera girl. Daring dudes, a hot bagel. Hot bagel, baby. Yeah. Hot bagel. We just want to let you guys see the inside of that puppy. See? Beautiful. Look at that. All that onion powder, I, I mean, the onion soup mix I put in there. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to top that with something. Meet you at the taste test table. Boink. Okay, Mr. Dan here at the taste test table. We're going to make this a quick one. Bagels came out real good. Mmm. Mmm. Still nice and warm. Thing is, you need to try it with the onion uh, soup mix in there. It gives it a good flavor. One pick back with the Everything bagel season. Mm-hmm. Well, that was good. Mm. And I say, don't be fooled by imitations. <laughs> this is a good knockoff. Okay, it's real bagel. Okay, guys, when you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands. When you're out and about, spray that stuff, that sanitizer with the gel, wash them up. 
you get home, wash them again. Don't talk with your mouth full. But if you're eating one of these here bagels, knock yourself out. Give me a like. Share with your friend. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. The recipe will be down in the description box. This is Mr. Dan. Stay hungry, my friends. We are out.